everyone this is Gulam from the Cypress Automation YouTube channel if you are new here please subscribe my channel the agenda of this tutorial is what are hooks uh, types of hooks implementation and the second topic is what is tag types of tag implementation of tag so what is hooks Cypress hooks are used to carry out the certain operations prior or post every or each test some of the common hooks are as follows before uh, after before each after each uh, before hook is used once the prior execution of any test within a described block is carried out after hook is used uh, once the post execution of all the tests within a described block is carried out before each it is executed uh, prior to the execution of an individual it block within a described block so after each it is executed post execution of the individual individual it blocks within a described block so after each means uh, your it will be executed after each test case of your test uh, it uh, described block and uh, before each will be executed before the execution of each test case in your test suit so let's go to the tutorial so let's implement it so first of all just implement that how we can implement just create a destroy block here you can see that this is no hooks and tags in cypress so I am creating my first describe block here function so my describe block is created here describe block is basically a, our test suit so in the test suit I just need to create a it block here which will be my first test case it block it block hooks in first cypress so first topic is hook so I will create a first test case related to the hooks here so simply write the function here and curly brackets no so this is my first test case here and this is my test suit here so what is hook uh, so first of all before is also hook there for example you can use it like this one before function okay so it executes executes once prior to the all tests in it block so just okay so for example just for now cy dot log just doing a we will just print a log here and uh, just print out a before hook there sorry uh, we don't need to so just go to execution just okay so cypress could not detect any test this file okay yeah I got it actually there is a mocha library here which is automatically imported here so just also print something in the first test case here cypress you can uh, use any test case or use any functionality 
in your first test case but I am just simply printing some values here this is my this is my first test case so also create a second test case also here let's see uh, this is my second test case let's see what's happened there second test case this is my first test case and uh, that one is my uh, second test case just cypress dot log because bef uh, before okay that is not the cypress here that is just cy here cy here and cy here okay let's see what's happening there okay you can see that the before in the before all uh, it's uh, printed there and this is my first test case and in the test second test case you can see just this is my second test case but that before hook is not printed because in a test shoot it's just once printed and uh, it's not printed again and again like before each method so let's go to the this is our before method here and just go for the after if you want to print a message or do uh, if you want do any activity uh, in the last of your test suit for example your test suit has been finished and you want to print some message there or you can do uh, any logout activity there then you can do it in a after method so just write after function here function and you can do that activity here see why dot log so you can uh, write simply this is this is my after activity so let's see after all execution of the whole test suit it is it should be executed there justly once okay so you can see that it, this is my first test case and it's printing the good things and you can see that this is my after activity and it's uh, in the after all so you can do uh, sometimes sometimes in a few scenarios we just need to log out on, on after the execution of a whole test suit there so we can define that log out activity in that after all I am just giving an example here you can do anything here you can also print the value you can do anything so this is my after and this is my before functionality here so now let's go to the before each method so in the before each method what will happen it will happen just uh, the functionality which we will define in the before each method it will be executed before each and every test case which exists in the test suit and in, uh, then we will uh, define after each so in the after each uh, exec will be executed after each test of the our test suit here so just go before each So this is my before each here. Function. So you can, for example, for example, you have to clear the cache before each test. For example, if any test case is executed there, and you want to clear the cache, and uh, for uh, and then it will be execute a second test case and. Uh, third four six seven and if you have a multiple test cases it will be executed uh, before each test suit there so just go here and uh, or just uh, we just currently we are just printing values here log you will see that this will be printed before the both test cases 
this is my before each method you will see that this will this message will be print before both test cases if we have a multiple then it will be shown multiple times here this is my you can say that the third so if we have a third test case uh, three test cases there it will print before each test case here you can just see it here it's saying that uh, yeah completion error okay it's so once again it's here remove it and go to the test so this is my before each method and you can see that it is in the before each and you will also see it here yeah it is also visible here and it should be also visible here this is my before each method if you have a hundred test cases there it will shown before the hundred test cases so now just go to the before method it will just show here in the first test case and nothing it will be appear again so after test will just appear in at the end of our test cases in the after all method here so same like uh, we have a after each method for example for example you have a lot of uh, test cases related to the login and uh, if you are logging in and a lot of scenarios are there if you are logging in and uh, at the end of the test case you are also want to log out then you can uh, you can just uh, do that activity uh, log out activity in your after each test case so once it will be logged in uh, in the first of that test case then it will be logged out automatically at the end of that particular test case so just go to the after each after each here and uh, just name it as a function and uh, start it so we are currently just uh, printing a message here so you will see that this message will print after each test case in our test suit after log and this should print at the end of each test case so let's see it should print at the end of each test case once again i think yeah it needs to remove that okay so you can see that in the first test case it is printed here in the second test case it is printed here and in the last it is printed here and this is our after all activity and it will just once uh, printed at the end of our test suit so i hope you have got idea about that if you are having any confusion there you can just ping me in the comments Thanks for watching this tutorial and also subscribe this channel. Thank you.